I'm Robin Moses and I am doing a series of nail art tutorials for Miss Professional Nail and um, Miss Professional Nail makes Sation nail polish and this is their new line of nail polish. I have been using Sation nail polish for about 25 years now and um, when I was first starting out in manicuring there was um, only a few different um, name brands to choose from that were professional and um, Sation was one of the only ones that I could afford because I was really really poor and they made really really great nail polish and I remember mixing the, their Bordeaux with 24 karat gold and making candy apple red and starting doing nail art on that and that was like 23 years ago so when they approached me to um, work with them in creating their new line of nail polish I was so happy to say yes because they really really were wonderful to me when I was first starting to do nails and I hope that I can give back to them just a fraction of what they have given to me because nails have really helped afford me a better life for my kids and um, just in general because I was on a bad path and they were nice and kind to me and um, I will always remember their polishes and they sent me all their new polishes and I am going to teach you some really cool stuff. So I'm starting out this um, tutorial. I'm going to um, be doing the Chelsea illustrations from their um, website right here, um, misspn.com. And um, the Chelsea illustration is a girl on a swan and this is going to be a advanced tutorial. Now I did an easier tutorial and and it turned into kind of a harder tutorial and I will I promise I will do easier tutorials on the on the ones in the months that come after this. But um I really don't know exactly what I'm doing yet and <laughs> And my light isn't exactly perfect yet, and there's lots of things that we're working out right now. But um, um, I just want to make sure that that um, Miss Pro is happy with these, and that I do her justice because they're awesome, awesome company. Now for the center, I am going to use um, 105B suede shoes, and I saw a blog with the suede shoes done and I really fell in love with this color so it's really beautiful and it too also is a not a full color it's really sheer so what I like about sheer nail polishes is, is that they are buildable and um, you don't have to if you do one coat of it you can keep it so nice and light that you can do a lot of other stuff with it I don't like I don't like coats that that, that cover 100% with one coat. It, it works okay for some things, but for some things, sheer is better. So this is this is just gonna give me a sheer color and it's gonna almost make like a purple right in the center. And I'm gonna go across this in like a French manicure. Okay, so for anybody who doesn't know me, I have a million dogs and they're gonna be barking and sorry about that, but they love me. And so, okay, here we go. I'm gonna put in a swan. Now, there is the, the dot. I'm going to just go, I'm going to try to explain as best as I can. Dot. Then I'm going to go in with the beak or the mouth or I don't know what a swan stuff is called. So anyways, then I'm going to go in with the neck. And I'm using white and black acrylic paint for this. Okay. I'm going to go down to the bottom of the nail like this and um, it's going to be cut out like this and we are going to finish like this okay now um, I am going to extend this swan over to this nail okay so this swan has wings like this so it's going to come up like that and then I'm going to take it through here like this all right <clears throat> and it's going to be all like this dun 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 like this and I'm just going to fill this all in <clears throat> now 
um, acrylic paint near the end, edge of the fingernail is going to wear. So I might go back in with um, some white or black or some kind of nail polish and seal this edge. And if I do, I will tell you, okay? But um, I'm going to go like this and here. So when I put them together, see how it makes that swan? That's going to be the swan that, that is in the Chelsea illustration on their website. Create the, create this uh, mountain scene here. And all of this can be changed. See, if this goes too high here, I can make it deeper here so that the mountain can be more. And then I am going to take um, gray, like I did the swan, so it, would, it, it carries over the design, fair, uh, the design from one to the other, and I'm going to put in the castle. Okay, on the picture there is a castle, so I'm just going to make a little castle into the side of the mountain here. See how the mountain cuts out the the main part for me, and um, I'm going to make it a little bit darker for the back of the castle. And this castle is is kind of hatched in in this photo as well on the nails. So I'm just kind of just putting it in quickly like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. This castle doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and then, oh, <laughs> then on this one, I am going to finish out the mountain like this, and we're and I'm just going to work on this mountain area, the dark, the browns and the darks, like this. Okay, so now I've got um, most of it put in, and I'm going to go in with Royal Violet number one hundred six three. This is a beautiful, beautiful. Um, light purple, sheer, gorgeous color. Um, I, I, I had a, um, I had a purple that had this kind of brush on the end of it sent to me that was, um, kind of like the same color, but it broke. So, so I am going to use this color instead. Um, and I might add some glitter in later, but using just the glitter as that purple is not going to be enough. So I'm going to go in over the top um, of the sky, and I'm going to add in some purple up against the cuticle and create a gradiated uh, pink sky. So that is going to be so pretty. And um, I, I had been contemplating whether or not I wanted to say that that color had broken, because I really wanted to use that color, but nope, that's not going to happen. So here we go, and I'm going to finish out this like that. Okay, so now I'm ready to start my swan. Um, now with white, I'm going to go in and highlight this area that is the swan and push in all of the different textures and give it dimension. So there's the head, and then I'm going to go like this and give it the body. Now on the swan in this photo, she's riding it as though it is a seat of some sort. So I'm going to leave this area right here gray. Um, in the photo it's red, and I can't, I can't make that red on here because it's such a small surface that if I make it red it's not going to look right, and um, everyone's going to say, why is that like that? Whereas when you have when you have a whole photo to look at, it just kind of you can you can have more flaws. You can't have as many flaws when you're working on such small surfaces. So I'm going in like this and just highlighting all of the different feathers. Okay, so then I'm going to take the white all the way down like this, and that's the general swan here. Then I'm going to take this right here, and then I'm going to give layers of feathers like this. And my white's getting a little bit too, too um, dried out. There we go. There's one layer, and then I'm going to do another layer. And 
then I'm going to do another layer. Like that. So when I put it all together, do you see how it all turns right into a beautiful swan? In the entryway, and it's going to go up like this, up like this, around like this, like this, like that. Then I'm going to go in and just kind of highlight areas like this, like that, and make it into a really, really cute castle. Highlight the lotus on the on the water. Maybe she's in a moat, huh? Never thought of that. She's probably in a moat around the castle. So now you've seen that I, I drew some lines up like this. This is for the 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 Japanese. Um, I think they're bonsai. I'm pretty. They look like large bonsais. So I'm gonna go like this, and then just make them out like this, and just paint trees like that. They're, those are kind of easy. So you just take the side of your brush and push, push, and go sideways like that. And there's your bonsai. Really super easy. Okay, now there's like a lot to do on these nails, right? Yeah. Yeah, wow. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it one layer at a time. So here we go. Um, green. I'm doing a lighter green. And then we are going to do the most darling little dots coming down like this. Now I'm going to do other ones coming down so it looks like there's another tree above it that we cannot see. And then I'm going to do the white highlights on my lotus flowers like this. And it's really going to start looking like a garden and, and, and it's going to really start looking like a place. And so, now we start our girl. Okay, now with flesh tone and a little tiny bit of black, my flesh like this, where her leg goes like this. And then comes down like that, okay? Then, na 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 na, we're going to Give her an arm, and the arm is going to reach around the swan's neck. And then she is going to have her chest out and her bum out like that. And that's going to be her basic figure, okay? Now she's wearing a really sheer white dress. So while the paint is still wet, I can, I can kind of put the dress on and make it look sheer, which is awesome. Just dot, 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 dot. Let me scroll down a little bit. Okay. Mm -mm. Dot, 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 dot. Okay. Then with brown and black, I'm gonna make her hair. And her hair is probably the center, the center attraction for now. So we're going to really fill it in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the area that would be the seat that was red with hair. That way we can kill two birds with one stone and um, make the hair look really, really thick and like central without having to put the red in there because the red is really going to look weird. No one's going to know what it looks like because it's just so tiny. And then with a darker black, I'm gonna go behind there and really get all of her hair pa painted in there like that. Okay, highlights here and there to make it look like lotus and feathers and layers, and that would be the swan side of this. And oh, oh it's so pretty. Okay, now on the other side, dun, 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 I am going to 
highlight my trees, my bonsai. Oh, my tree, 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 tree. And put in my other bonsai, tree, 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 tree. See, it shows the girl, and she has the she has the polish, and then it shows the thing, and, yeah. and I'm working on this, and it's so yeah. so funny because I've already made this huge mess <laughs> all over it because I always work on I always work on paper towels. See, yeah. so I have my paper towels, and I'm I, I I take the polish like this, and then I every time I wipe, and I keep wiping it on this, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have already messed one up, and I've only been working with Pro Mist for one day, so sorry about that my my little mouse pads gonna be a wreck boy I don't even I don't know if I can do this so um okay so <laughs> that aside let me go in and show you what I'm doing okay so this back of the swan is covered with nail polish I made the nail polish uh, bottles and now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna reverse it so that I'm making the tops like this and cutting them in because I really don't know exactly what how I was going to make the bottles and stuff and the, it's very very hard to see what you're going to do at such a small little level so see you just take the polished color that you've used and then you make the black lids that way okay then come in from the back and then make the black li lids up like this so that you double it up both from bottom and top if that makes sense if it doesn't make sense, just follow my lead and do it. <laughs> okay? And then uh, top of the, I'm going to make a little shine on each little bottle like this. Boom, boom. So you can see polish in there. And you guys might not know that's polished, but it looks like polish to me. And we're going to top coat. Okay. And I am finished with the... Um, beautiful nails the girl and the swan from the Chelsea collection for pro miss miss pro nails so let me try to get up on there Oop, too close let me try to get up on there and let you see and there is the polish bottles and the lady on the swan and then there's the weeping willow and the other swan with the um, with the um, lotus flowers and then there are the bonsai trees and the castle and the other bonsai trees and of course on the thumbs we have da, 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 the weeping willow and the bonsai and the and the lotus okay so i got i hope you guys really like these um they are the first kind of professional <laughs> the most professional um, nails I can do at this time but I did do my best and I hope you guys enjoyed yourself they were really really fun to do and um, I'm really excited about doing the other ones because because I really kind of don't know what I'm doing yet and I hope that you guys can forgive that and I can't wait to do more because the ones that we're doing next are really really going to be fun so I hope you guys have a wonderful night and um, I will see you back with more and um, everybody at Miss Pro Nail thank you so much for this opportunity and I can't wait we're going to have a lot of fun and your polishes are beautiful I can't wait to show more um, everybody have a great night and bye